Well, what did you see as the difference maker? You guys were able to get into one possession games, but just couldn't get over that hump. We could not get over the hump, and uh, a big part of it was we were playing catch up the whole night. And so uh, the 40 point first quarter kind of set the tone. Uh, a little uncharacteristic by our group, and uh, good to see how we respond from this. But uh, the 40 point, then we're playing catch up. Cut it to 10 at half, felt pretty good that it could have been more than that, uh, especially with the amount of points they had in our paint. Um, made a little response, but uh, couldn't get over the hump. A lot of that response happened in the third quarter. You guys were able to get those stops and outscored them 26 to 19. What did you like during that stretch? Yeah, we were really pushing the pace during that stretch and uh, a little combination of making some shots, a few turnovers that we produced because we, re we really didn't turn them over uh, throughout the course of the night. So, um, And then we were, we were able to take care of the basketball, uh, which we didn't at different points throughout the course of the night. So that combination worked well for us, uh, kind of got us back in the game. and. Um, uh, couldn't sustain it though. Jack, they hit I know, 17 for 23. They started out. I mean, how, how much do you chalk that up when, when the team starts that hot to defensive miscues on your end versus just kind of tipping your hat so, on some of those? Yeah, it's a little bit of both. And, you know, I talked to assistant coach and they were, you know, 70% in our paint and 60% uh, from the field. And so they were making some shots, some tough shots off the glass, one foot runner. So that's part of just being good basketball players. Uh, we, we did have some breakdowns defensively that we were able to talk to, through at halftime a little bit. Uh, so it was a combination. Uh, I thought they did a pretty good job of trying to combat our reds a little, our, our switches a little bit so uh, tip your hat to, to them they, they came to play they were uh, pretty desperate to get a win and uh, we needed that same desperation TJ yeah he got a rib contusion so uh, they'll take a look at him I got no update more than that uh, but, but that illegal screen uh, kind of produced that any scans for him I don't know, Brian. Uh, they just told me before I walked out and, and when he had checked out of the game. So um, I'll meet with those guys. Not sure about scans, though. Understanding that, I mean, boost switch is always a handful. And, you know, they play a mid-range game that not a lot of people play. Um, but in your mind, was that, I guess, more your guys being in tune with each other defensively or not being in tune with each other than anything that... Yeah, you know, and it's an interesting team when you give them, you know, those rhythm shots. If you make a mistake, uh, they're able to capitalize on it. So a couple of times we weren't clean uh, in, in our coverage, and it produced a little rhythm for them. And whether that was a offensive rebound to a corner three, or that was a uh, IO transition where we didn't get matched up. So those things just kind of. Um, you know, grabbed a hold of us throughout the course of the night. It was too many of those, which was, we haven't had that many breakdowns throughout the course of the night. Jacques, Kevin and Seth are kind of, I think, all but one of your threes. I mean, any, any issues with, with the looks? No, really good looks. Uh, really good looks. You know, we took a look at a couple of them at halftime to see were they forced to anything, uh, even the first play of the game. Uh, we got a good look, and so we'll take it. That's part of basketball. Uh, that's what I told the group. That's what the great thing about this thing. We have shown how to respond after a win, and we just kept winning. Now, how do we respond after a loss? Uh, that's why you don't get too high, too low in this thing, and uh, uh, you get ready to play the next game. John, as far as that message goes, do you give them that moment to appreciate that they just rattled off 12 or is that now in the past as far as the end of this game? I didn't mention, but I did say, you know, you have shown how to win and how to continue to win. Um, did not say anything about the month of December or stringing wins together. You know, we never mentioned anything about the streak along the way. Uh, I think the point was, and it'll continue to be, what's important is that day's game. So I'm looking forward to that piece of our guys Kind of learn a lesson from this game and then moving on and, and uh, responding on Friday. Royce was obviously out the other game, comes back this game, you know, sick. I mean, did you see him having any after effects of that out there? Too? No, I don't think so. And, and I hope uh, that he realized that um, um, I have extreme amount of confidence in him to play him 35 minutes and. Um, Missed his first shot, missed his second shot, and we're going to continue to have confidence in him. He, I love co coaching Royce, and uh, he'll continue to be out there, and he'll get those shots, and he'll make them.